everybody, this is Alan, and I'm back with another Doctor Who review for you. And today I'm going to be reviewing the 31st Doctor Who story, The Highlanders, starring Patrick Troughton as the second Doctor. Sadly, The Highlanders is lost from the BBC archives. It's four episodes, all four episodes, gone from the BBC. So my review of The Highlanders is based on the soundtrack for the series, which still survives, and which you can download for a very affordable price from the folks at audible.com. That's audible.com. And by the way, the BBC audio version of The Highlanders is narrated quite wonderfully by Fraser Hines, who plays the companion Jamie, which the Doctor is going to pick up later on at the end of this story. The plot of the Highlanders is that the Doctor and his two companions, Ben and Polly, they land the TARDIS. Uh, it's in the 1700s, and it's a fight between the Scottish, or the Highlanders, versus British Redcoats. And uh, along the way, during the battle, the Doctor and Ben and Polly come across a young Scottish lad by the name of Jamie McCrimmon. Do you think he's going to step on board the TARDIS? You think? Gee, you think? And that's basically the gist of The Highlanders. Uh, basically, The Highlanders, well, i got to tell you, my review is based solely on the audio version of the story, because that's all that survives of the story. There's nothing to see, there's only stuff to hear, so judging The Highlanders simply by hearing it, I think this is definitely a very good, very solid, enjoyable Doctor Who story. It was basically the very last of the historical Doctor Who stories until much later on during the fifth Doctor's time, Peter Davison, when he did the story Black Orchid. So until... Black Orchid with Peter Davison, The Highlanders is the last historical story. And uh, yeah, from just listening to it, it's a very good, very entertaining Doctor Who story. The thing that sticks out for me the most about The Highlanders is that uh, Patrick Troughton certainly must have had a lot of fun making this story because this story requires uh, Patrick Troughton's Doctor to go undercover no less than three times, and he basically has to play three different characters in disguise. First of all, uh, Patrick Troughton has to go undercover as a German Doctor, so Troughton does a very funny German accent, and then later on in the story, uh, uh, Troughton's doctor has to go undercover as an old woman, so they dressed him up as an old woman, and he does the old woman voice. And then later on in the story, Troughton has to go undercover as a British redcoat. So he does the British redcoat accent thing. So I, I get the impression that yes, Patrick Trout definitely must have had a lot of fun making this story, and it shows, and it shows in his performance. It's a very wonderful, humorous, enjoyable performance from Patrick Trout. And even though there is one little reservation, the fact that he spends most of the story in disguise as these other characters, he doesn't spend, I, I, I'd say he only spends maybe like one quarter or maybe one third at the most of the story as the Doctor, uh, playing the Doctor, the Doctor as himself, rather than the Doctor pretending to be somebody else, because he does spend two-thirds or three-quarters of the story as the Doctor pretending to be somebody else. But overall, this is a very enjoyable performance uh, from Patrick Troughton. Just listening to his performance, it's very good. And of course, as usual, uh, Michael Craze as Ben and Annette Wills as Polly give very solid performances as the two main companions. As for the new guy, Fraser Hines, as as Jamie McCrimmon. Well, as we all know, Jamie would wind up being one of the most popular of all the Doctor Who companions in the history of the show, and I think he is arguably the longest serving companion. I think Sarah Jane Smith comes darn close, but I really think Jamie is the longest serving companion um, of all. He's in every single Patrick Troughton story except the first one, Power of the Daleks. Otherwise, he's going to stay with Troughton straight to the very end into Troughton's final story, The War Games. And he's a wonderful, wonderful companion, no question about it. God bless you, Jamie. We love you, Jamie. But you know what? In his very first story, I don't think Jamie is given all that much to do. And he's very much a supporting character. So... It's the debut story for Jamie, obviously, but I don't think it's the best story for Jamie because I really don't think he's given that much to do here. And then, I mean, of course, at the very end of the story, he decides to join uh, the Doctor and Ben and Polly on their adventures. But until then, he's just pretty much a supporting character. He doesn't really stand out. But fear not, because Fraser Hines as Jamie will definitely get his chance from the next story onwards to become one of the all-time great Doctor Who companions. But hey... He had to start somewhere, and he started right here uh, with the Highlanders. The supporting cast are very, very good, although I think the only supporting cast member that sticks out for me just by listening to their performances 
because that's all I can do, is uh, Hannah Gordon as Kirsty, the lovely Scottish lass who helps the Doctor and company on their adventure. And uh, I'm also judging by, by the photographs that I've seen of her in the role of Kirsty. Yes, yes, very pretty lady. It's a shame we can only listen to her performance. We can't watch her, but oh well. Nonetheless, Hannah Gordon, very, very good, very solid performance as uh, Kirsty. But yes, the whole supporting cast for the story is good. Again, I can only listen to their performances. I can't watch them, but listening to them, they are very good. And I also think that the script for this story is also quite good, very solid, very good dialogue. Uh, it is indeed very, very funny in places. And um, yeah, it's a very good, very entertaining Doctor Who story, The Highlanders. It's a damn shame that it's lost from the BBC archives, even more so because this was Jamie's debut story, but oh well, the story still exists in sound, so by all means, pick up that uh, audio version of The Highlanders from audible.com. It's worth it, and the price is right, and it is indeed a very good, enjoyable Doctor Who story. Hopefully one day it can be found, but at least it exists in audio. Judging by the audio version, The Highlanders, very good, enjoyable, historical story from Patrick Troughton's era as the second Doctor. Very good story, The Highlanders. And that's my review of uh, The Highlanders. So next time on Doctor Who Review, I'm going to be reviewing Patrick Troughton's third story, The Underwater Menace. Four episodes, only two episodes survive at the BBC. So my review, I think, once again, will be based on the BBC audio version. And maybe the surviving episode or two, if I can find it somewhere. No matter what, I will be back next time with Patrick Troughton's third story as the Doctor, The Underwater Menace. So until then, this is Alan. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.